Hi guys, it's Jamie with Not Too Shabby. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I wanted to do a little chit chat and I have some new doodle bug to share with you. So I drew up this little image here and my friend Kathy, um, she gave me a little pep talk basically. Um, so I decided to draw something up so I could turn it into a stamp. I've been wanting to do this. Um, but I'm just like scared. I'm just so critical of my own, you know, drawings. I'm not confident enough that it's good enough. I know you guys understand what I'm saying because as us crafters, we're always like our biggest critic, our own worst critic, right? Um, I try to be positive a lot and, um, but just to get myself out there is like a little bit scary as, as far as turning them into stamp sets. You know, are they going to sell? Because I, you have to buy a large quantity. You can't just, you know, buy 10 of them. And then if they don't sell, they don't sell. You're going to be stuck with a bunch of them. So that's why I'm a little bit hesitant um, to turn it into a stamp set. So I showed my friend Kathy um, the drawing, and this is the first one that I did. And um, so this is the prototype. And I asked for her honest opinion, and she gave it to me. Um, and I appreciate that so much because without the honest opinion, you're not going to grow. You're not going to evolve. So um, she said, why don't I make the cup a little bit thinner towards the bottom? And um, so I said, okay. And so I tried it again and you could see the cup is a lot better proportioned. So I do really, really appreciate the honest feedback. And also you can see I did draw the dog better proportioned as well. So I think he came out a lot cuter. I forgot to put the little white dots in his eyes, but uh, now I'm wondering if I should leave it off the stamp and then you can just add them in with a white jelly roll pen. Um, that way you can have the dog looking different directions. Like you can put the white jelly roll to, towards the top or towards the bottom or in the center. Um, what do you guys think about that? Or put them in like this where you can't change it. Um, and then for the dog, so this is uh, supposed to be a pug, and I wanted it to be a Pugachino. So I thought that was funny and cute to send to somebody. And I have a lot of cute sentiments to go with this, um, not just for dog lovers, but just to make someone smile, like coffee and dogs and like a pug inside of a, a coffee cup. I mean, it's just cute. And um, so then I decided, you know, he looks like he could be a bulldog too. So I colored him up like a bulldog. And I think he looks cute like that too. So I guess you can color him up different ways and turn him into different dogs. So I think he, he turned out really cute. What do you guys think? And then of course I'm leaving the mug plain and then you can stamp your sentiments on the mug or on the sleeve and then I'm also including like a heart and a big bow to put on top of the dog so if you wanted to make it a girly dog um, so you can see the difference on my drawings um, so I wanted to share that with you guys and um, leave me your honest feedback down below I'd love to hear it and I'd, I'd love to release the stamp set if you guys um, like this in May, like probably mid-May before the Coffee Lovers blog hop, then maybe um, you guys can use it and enter into the Coffee Lovers blog hop with this stamp set. That'd be awesome. And also, you guys, um, Kathy is going to be joining the Not Too Shabby design team in in May. So I'll have her link to her YouTube channel 
um, in the description box so you can go and subscribe and then you won't miss her first design team project in May. So really excited about that and thank you Kathy for helping me out there. Um, let's share some of the new doodle bugs. So. So I still have the free shipping for U.S. orders over $35. So um, that is still going on right now. Um, so my Doodlebug order is coming in two shipments. Um, due to shelter in place, there was some delays. So now um, the odds and ends and like the sprinkles and the washi tape are coming in a separate shipment. Um, probably in five days. Uh, my order went in picking today so maybe by Monday I'll have it or maybe late this week. So we have the new Hay Cupcake really cute paper pad. Love this little kitty with the balloons. Really pretty. And then we have the birthday boy one. This is the party time. And this one is more geared towards boys. We have the coordinating stamp sets in. So we've got the birthday girl, which is really cute. There's some sentiments in here. Birthday girl, you're so sweet. Surprise, hello, happy birthday. And then we've got the birthday uh, boy one. And then we've got the party animal girl. So those are the stamp sets. Um, I did restock this bookcase one from Harrow Arts. This is a super large stamp set. And it has all these little uh, sentiments in here. Uh, really fun stamp set. And then the acetate card panels from Harrow Arts. There's 20 sheets in here. Um, four and a quarter by five and a half. So perfect for making shaker cards. And then back to Doodlebug, these that came in, these are the Sweet Shop assortments, Key Lime and Sweet Treats. To get ribbon, some little gems and buttons and brads, little uh, flowers. These little brads in the shape of the strawberry. It says cuppy cakes, so I'm not sure why it says cuppy cakes, because they're not cupcakes, they're strawberries. And then for the 3D Pops, we've got an elephant. Tons of fun. We've got Treat Yourself. Birthday Boy. And then a lot of these have enamel pieces on them, which are really nice. This is Yappy Birthday. We've got some Sweet Celebration Treats. Party Girl, Sweet Treats, Little Monkey, Monkey Business, Birthday Princess, Make a Wish, Cake and Ice Cream, Party Llama, that llama's really cute, and then Birthday Girl. Party favors, and then hedgehogs. Hedgehogs with cupcakes. And then I have maybe just one or two left of these. These are the shimmer powders, um, lunar rocket. This one is cherry bomb, falling leaves, and what is this one called? Uh, meteor shower. So you can find those under um, new items. These should all be under the top 50 new items in the shop. And don't forget, you guys, Sunny Studios' new release is on the 24th. Um, so I will have that listed for you. I have the whole release and ready, ready to ship. Um, what else? The gnomes are sold out again. Uh, Jessica Lynn Original Gnomes. Um, if you want that stamp and you are going to purchase it from me, um, put yourself on the waiting list and I will, uh, put another order in 
so you can get your gnomes. So I think that's everything guys. Um, don't forget you can use my coupon code Jamie for 10% off your order. Yep, so I will see you guys soon in the next video. Thanks for joining me today. Bye guys!